Hi everyone, me Robert here. In the next few videos, I will turn you into a Python master. In this video, we will install a virtual environment with Conda, which is essential if you don't want to mess up your system. With Conda, you can install a unique virtual environment for each of your projects. You can choose between two Conda distributions, Miniconda or Anaconda, and I will exactly show you how to install them. So if you're interested in Python beyond simple functions in a module, subscribe to my channel. And if you like this content, please don't forget to smash that like button below. Now without further ado, let's get to it! Alright, I've set up a virtual machine in the Google Cloud with the Linux operating system Debian 11 and I've SSH'd into it with Visual Studio Code. So if you're not familiar with this setup, please watch my video SSH into a remote VM with Visual Studio Code. Conda is a package management and environment management system that allows you to run your Python code, but also code written in many other programming languages in its own virtual environment. It comes in two distributions, Anaconda and Miniconda. Anaconda comes with thousands of software packages already pre-installed, while Miniconda is a basic Conda distribution that out of the box just comes with Python. However, you are free to install also other software packages with Miniconda later on. So let's try to install Miniconda first. For this purpose, we basically follow the instructions on the Conda homepage. Since we have a Linux operating system, we choose Linux installer here. Then we click on download the installer. We scroll down to quick command line install and here we click Linux again. Now we can copy the download and install instructions here. And we simply paste it here into the terminal window in Visual Studio Code. And then we hit enter. This basically downloads and installs the latest Miniconda version. Once Miniconda is installed, you can see that it has created a Miniconda 3 directory here. I clear the terminal window here. And now we have to initialize the newly installed Miniconda. For this purpose, we switch back to the Miniconda page and we find this line here. We copy this init script for the bash shell and we paste it into the terminal window as well. And then we hit enter. You can see that the script has modified the bash rc file in your home directory. We open it. And here you can see that the script basically added Miniconda to the path. Now we can close the terminal window with exit and we open it again. Terminal, new terminal. And here you can see that it automatically switched into a virtual environment named base. But you basically can deactivate this feature with conda config set auto activate base to false. Now we exit the terminal again and we open it again. And here you can see that this time the base environment has not been activated. You can check the version of Conda which has been installed with Conda-V. And now you can create a unique virtual environment for each of your Python projects. I clear this again. And now you easily can create a new virtual environment for each of your projects. Let's say we have a Python project named Hello World. Then we would create a directory Hello World. We change into this directory. And now we create a virtual environment for it. We type conda create dash n followed by the name that you want to give your virtual environment. I usually choose the same name for the virtual name as the project name. Hello world. Followed by the Python version you want to use for this project. For example, Python 3.10.0. And then we hit enter.
It asks us if we want to proceed. We hit enter again. And now it has successfully installed the virtual environment for Hello World. We can activate this virtual environment with conda activate Hello World. So we copy this statement and we paste it here. Hit enter. You can see that this virtual environment has been activated here. And now you can start to install required packages for your project into this new virtual environment. For example, we can install the python.env package with pip install python.env. This would allow you to set environment variables in a .env file and read it in your code. For example, now you can create a .env file here in the hello world directory, which contains a my key variable that is set to 4711. And here in your app.py, Python app, you can import the load.env function from the .env package and then load the environment variables from the .env file with this command. Then you can read the my key environment variable with this command. And finally, you output greetings from hello world with the my key environment variable. We now can run this app with python app.py and enter. And you can see that it outputs greetings from hello world app. My key is 4711. When you're finished, you can deactivate your virtual environment with conda deactivate and enter. And here at the prompt, you now can see that the virtual environment is deactivated again. If you want to remove the virtual environment with all its installed packages again, you can type this command. Conda remove dash y dash n hello world dash dash all. We hit enter. Now, before we move forward with the Anaconda installation, we remove the Miniconda installation. So we right click on the Miniconda's redirectory and we click delete permanently. I also delete the .condark file and the .conda directory. I open the .bashrc file and here I delete the conda initialize block that was added by Miniconda. And then I exit the terminal window. And I open a new terminal window. In order to install Anaconda, you can go to the Anaconda repo archive here. You find it at repo.anaconda.com forward slash archive. And here you can find your preferred Anaconda version for your operating system. In my case, it's this file for Linux here. So I switch back to my Visual Studio Code terminal. And here I download this file with curl and I save it into a file in the temp directory with the dash dash output parameter. Once the file is downloaded, I install it with this command bash, then the name of the file, followed by dash b, and enter. This takes a little bit longer than the Miniconda installation, since it installs all the packages. Once Anaconda is installed, you find the Anaconda 3 directory here, and you can activate Anaconda in the current shell with this command. As with Miniconda, the Anaconda virtual environment, the base environment, is also automatically activated. Again, we can deactivate this feature with this command. In order to make Conda available on new shells, we init Conda with this command. We type Conda init and then we hit enter. Again, we can see that the .bashrc in a home directory has been modified. And if we scroll down in the .bashrc file, we can see that this time Anaconda 3 has been added to the path. Now we exit from our terminal again. And then we reopen the terminal. 
and you can see that the base environment has not been activated. And now you can create your Anaconda virtual environment with the same commands like we used in Miniconda before. So that's all for today. If you like this content, please click the like button and subscribe button and notification will be below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.